What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, I am Trip HP Junkie. And this is gonna be moto vlog number 38. And we do everything Harley Davidson and Harley Davidson related here on the channel. And today, um, this is a subject that it seems like I get a bunch of questions on from time to time. There's the cups. Anyways, so yeah, we get this question from time to time. Um, it seems like a bunch of people ask about it. And I feel like I have some experience now and I have some mileage so I can give a good, honest opinion and, and review type thing on this. And that's chain kits. Chain kits for the Dyna. Um, I did mine probably about, gosh, probably about 8,000 miles ago, I think. and. I've been to Oklahoma to the Fast Life Camp Out. Uh, we've been to Maribel one time and just beating on this thing nonstop back and forth to work. And I've learned a couple things um, <laughs> on what to do and what not to do. So let me address the first question that, that everybody seems to to bring up first and foremost is is oh i gotta service that chain all the time and oh there's so much maintenance involved and da, da, da. no that's not the case whatsoever if you use good quality chain lube um i use maxim maxima i think uh you get the stuff off of amazon and it's it's called a uh chain wax and what I do is just clean the thing, every oil change, lube it up, and don't worry about it. Just kind of set it and forget it. Um, it's not rusting, it's not binding, and looks good. And that stuff doesn't sling all over the bike like some of the other stuff does. So, so that's what I've run it, and, and seem to like it, uh, no problem. Uh, it's 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 hands down good stuff, and the maintenance aspect. <laughs> once you get past that initial stretching because is when you first put the chain on it will stretch a little bit and once you get past that first stretch you're good to go you're you set your tension and, and rock and roll so um i think i've been through two sets of tires or two sets two tires already on the back and and no issues now um you know the installation of these chain kits is kind of difficult you do need some special tools the chain rivet tool um you need a big impact to get that nut off uh the only ones that i've seen that that do it right away is the milwaukee electrics uh they'll, they'll zip that nut right off and then uh we need a big socket for that as well so um yeah there is i would i would put it on like a nine as far as uh, install hardness to do um, you know if you don't need those tools or if you don't have those tools you're gonna have to spend quite a quite a buck to get them so but yeah so we got maintenance down which is the breeze um, we got the install which you know is it is on the harder side to, to install one of these but you know once you get it all, all you got to do is technically just you know feed new change in and, and new sprockets and what are we doing here boss i love this thing <laughs> so yeah the other thing i wanted to bring up and is the big important i think part of the chain kits and it's been my learning curve um because i really had no experience and just went with kind of the cheapest kit i could find that had good reviews and you know not knocking the company that i got it from uh you know for selling a cheap kit that got me in the door that i could upgrade later on but what we found out, uh, me and me and friends, is is that the Bun King sprockets are garbage. Um, they're a quarter inch. 
uh, thickness, which which comes to about a 520. Um, it, it doesn't even fill out the whole chain. You can you can set the wheel um, up to where it's good for a little bit, and then the sprocket starts wearing the inside of the chain. And what happens is the inside of the sprocket will wear away to where the teeth are actually skinnier. Um, and I've already been through one sprocket, uh, which, you know, they're hundred bucks. They're not too much, but I hope there's a speed bump down here somewhere. I haven't been down here in a while. What are we doing? We're just riding in the middle of the road, boss. On his phone. So yeah, um, <laughs> what we found uh, is PBI and some other companies make a sprocket, a rear sprocket for the reel that is actually 530, which is the thickness uh, of that sprocket. And yeah, they're right about a hundred bucks. And if I would have knew that going into there, I would have never bought that bunking sprocket because I bought another one. You know, there's one on here right now. and. Uh, one of the homies is actually uh, the space between his teeth is, is is worn out, and that's supposed to be a hardened steel. And I don't, yeah, I just don't believe it. That's a that's a 520 sprocket. It's not a 530. It's busy down here. But yeah, if I'd have to do it again, I would have definitely upgraded the uh, rear sprocket uh, to better quality and, and thickness of actual 530 which which these kits are most of them are 530 chains so so yeah that was a big learning curve that, that hopefully I'll help somebody out with and you know down in the future um, somebody see this video and, and don't stay away from those bun king rear sprockets um, they look good because they're cheap but there's some other companies out there that offer the true 530 sprocket uh, for these for these bikes and you know they'll last longer um, that will be another long-term video test we're gonna get one next Jesus is bumping and and go from there and test it out but um, yeah yeah that's the only negative thing I've, I've, I've seen personally from these chain kits is those rear sprockets are garbage um, you know get you a good one Everything else seems to be great. Uh, long distance wise, they've been great. And, you know, I originally thought that, oh, you had to have a chain to wheelie, but that's not the case. There's plenty of people running on belts with, with no issues. So, um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it, guys. Uh, that's our review on chain kits for Donna's. And if I would have had to, you know, do it again, I probably would have waited a little bit uh before you know maybe maybe destroy a belt then upgrade but i you know i just wanted to build it one time and and leave it alone and set it so that's gonna be it for this video guys like comment and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one